stone cold fruit spritzer. Because it's made with apricots, which are stone fruit. So um, basically you take an apricot, um, we're doing two drinks. So I think a whole apricot ought to do it. Probably use a half an apricot for one drink. And you're gonna muddle that so you're making a puree basically. It's gotta be obviously fresh apricots. This would not work with a dried apricot. So once that is muddled, I'm going to add some booze. Oh, I said booze and look who shows oh, up. Oh, stop it. The succotash is prepped out. And yeah, I, I, I like your disclaimer. Please do not use dried apricot. You know, not, yeah. It's not beyond me to point out the obvious. So we got some vodka. Then, of course, anytime Saint I can. Germain. John uses use Saint a Germain lot of it. Because I love it. Because it's kind of sweet, but not too sweet and floral. Mm -hmm. Just kind of yummy. And then I'm going to add a little bit of dry, crisp rosé wine. That's a Cote de Provence. It's a not very expensive, but really nice um, south of France uh, rosé. It's very traditional to enjoy this time of year. And there goes John, chucking the ice cubes. Throwing ice here. everywhere. Gonna shake it, shakey, shakey, shakey. It looks like a fruit smoothie elixir thing. Yeah, kind of short. Yeah. Then we shall strain it into ice cream. What about all them flowery things? Those I'll aren't those there. apricot blossoms? Those are garnishy. We should and mix them. I either need a bigger ice bucket or a smaller scoop. What is stuff. with you, man? <laughs> The proportions are all off. You know, this is like me playing skeet ball every week when I have to chuck John's ice into the kitchen sink. You get very good at your uh, hook shot there. Yeah, thanks. Um, You're supposed to be making two. Yeah. I am. Uh -huh. mm. The you know, color is beautiful. And it smells a lot like apricots. Go figure. I would have layered the flowers so they could kind of, you know, or mushed them right up in there. Well, that's what I'm gonna do now. So these are apricot blossoms, which we found. Obviously you don't need apricot blossoms. Right. They were actually a gift from the company that shipped us produce. They just sent pretty apricot blossoms, so. This is just a completely optional garnish, but they look really pretty, so we'll put them in there. And now what I'm going to do is use this to top it with club soda or seltzer. That makes it, obviously, the spritzer component. Screw it up a little bit. I see the apricot's pulp is now getting distributed a little more evenly. That's a good thing. Yes, of course. We want well-distributed pulp. Delightful. A couple of straws. And cheers. Cheers. Oh, there's the beeper. Oh. oh my gosh. That means time the to chicken check might chicken. be ready. Ah!